Okay guys, well, we're back in the kitchen again and glad to have you with us and today we're going to be making another Australian favourite. We're going to be making lamingtons. Now, I grew up with lamingtons and I absolutely love them and we're going to make some today. Now, lamingtons are super popular in Australia. You can find them in just about every bakery. Um, they're usually pretty much the same. Sometimes they serve them with jam and cream in between, but I grew up with them plain and simple so that's how we're going to make them. So yeah. the best thing we need to do is make the cake. And we're going to do a sponge cake because once again that's what I grew up with. You can also use a butter cake, but sponge is the way we're going to go. I think... Um... Traditionally, it was probably sponge cake. Probably. So. Let's give it a try. Hopefully our sponge doesn't flop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell the train not to go past. Yeah. All right. Let's get started. So to my surprise, apparently you put everything in and then mix it all together. So we've just got to take this off. Yes. And my nifty little trick here, I reckon that I'm hoping works to stop any stuff getting down in there. So, we're going to do some flour, and I think I'm going to get a scoop to make my life easier. And I'm going to sift the flour into my bowl. Because apparently one of the secrets of a good sponge cake is to make sure everything is lump free. Flour. <laughs> pop our sugar in. This one might need some help because I know it does happen. And all of the quantities will be in the description below, like usual. Okay. And now I have put some. Corn starch or corn powder and the baking powder together in this little bowl, which is so fine it probably doesn't even need sitting. Right, and now for our wet ingredients, we'll start with our milk. And two teaspoons. Because it's a vanilla sponge, so one must have vanilla. <laughs> Tough picture. <laughs> Three eggs and our softened butter. Go away. Put our. And now we have to start it at a low speed.
and that looks perfect. Okay, now to great grease. Now to grease a uh, dish tin pan, whatever you want to call it. Um, apparently, I didn't know this until just recently, that there's actually a special cake tin pan in Australia for lamingtons. And I grew up with one. I just never knew that. I just thought it was a cake tin that we cooked everything in. The funny thing is, a lot of uh, recipe books in Australia, it will say grease a lamington tin, even when you're not making lamingtons. <laughs> it's like just a set size. Unfortunately, we do not have that size, so this one's a little bit bigger by dimensions, but it's the best we can do. So, we're going to grease this one. And I need to get the butter. Got to do what you can with what you've got, right? And this is a real messy job. <laughs> but the better the grease job, Never we used to the always easier it comes out. Have to get ourselves a lamington tin. It's like the perfect size cake. There we go. We'll grease that down. Because here in Russia, they do kind of sell grease paper greased paper but it's a little low on the grease side we found it sticks so i greased the grease paper to be on the safe side <laughs> right well sponge cakes can't be too sure right yeah okay does this mixture go in mm-hmm radio Don't want to waste any yummy cake stuff. Put that in there. Okay. Cool. Oven time. Just open the door for me. For round two, the icing. Like I said in the shop, that turned out to be a hyperlapse. I had to put the foil on top to stop it getting too brown on top while the inside was still cooking. Ooh, that looks yummy. Can we eat it now? Nope, now we let it set for just a tad bit and then we attempt to take it out of the tin or the pan. Okay, so what you do is pick it up like that. Now do we have to um, put it up the other way on the board? No, we just let it sit like this for a minute to flatten the top out a little bit. Oh! Ta-da! Okay. Oh, it's so nice to have like cutting lines. Next time we have to make sure it's straight. To the outside freezer we go. And now we wait for the outside freezer to do its work. Time to take our sponge cake and see if it's frozen enough to ice. If they're not 
frozen, but they are good, I think. Now we're gonna make icing. We do, we do. We do. Have all the ingredients there. Looking good. Not oh, one extra. Looks good. But there's a taste like I can. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm. I love lemon cheese. That's pretty good lemon cheese. I think it could sit a little bit longer for the chocolate to fully set, but. Mm. But it's like a lot of the ones I've had, they've either been too sweet, mm. like too sugary and chocolatey, and they weren't very nice, or not sweet enough and stale. Mm. I mean, yeah, some people have them with jam and cream. That's also nice. You cut them in half, and put a tiny bit of jam and then some cream on. Mm. Yum. But plain and simple is probably my favourite way. Definitely a success. It's a winner. Yum. Oh, look how many more we've got to eat. Mm. I don't think we've had a bad recipe yet, but we are doing favourites. So <laughs> <coughs> that kind of helps. <coughs> well, that wraps that up. Yeah, that's it. Um, <gasps> Larrington's people. Delicious. Do try them. I think that'll be a favourite. Mm -hmm. Not too hard to make. And, uh, yeah, really good. Obviously, being small bite-sized kind of thing, <laughs> you can take it to parties and stuff like that as well. It's good Perfect. for celebrations. They're an Australian morning tea favourite. But, yeah, parties, all sorts of things. Cup of tea. Yeah, it goes good with tea. Mm -mm. Well, as I said, all the ingredients and quantities are down in the description. Yep. Thanks for watching. And, Don't forget uh, to like, subscribe, all those things. Hit yeah. the bell. Hit the bell. And uh, yeah, if uh, you liked it, don't forget to let us know down in the comments. <laughs> um, and as always, take care. Till next time. We're going to be here eating Langtons. Yeah, we've got plenty to get to. <laughs>